Do you know what it takes to be transformed into the image of Christ? Did you know that God's desire for your life is that you be transformed into the image of Christ and that if you're born again, the miracle of transformation is already built into your spiritual DNA? Welcome Kingdom Citizens, one and all. It is so good to have you here at Heaven Culture, where our objective is to transform believers into Kingdom Citizens that think, talk, and act like Jesus, so that we can properly represent Heaven while living right here on Earth. Yes, if you are a born-again believer, you are a citizen of Heaven, but only a temporary resident of Earth. On this channel, we are endeavoring to help believers just like you to become proper citizens of heaven by helping you to think like a heavenian. In the previous video, we introduced this series and gave a brief overview of the first three points. Today, we will attempt to finish the overview with our final four points. The seven keys to the transformation process of the believer are number one, consecration. Number two, the knowledge of God. Number three, renewing the mind. Number four, praying in your spirit language. Number five, the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Number six, fasting and prayer. And finally, number seven, assimilation. Now let's pick up where we left off with key number four. Key number four, praying in your spirit language, the communication sending system of the believer. Prayer is part of the communication system of heaven. One of the highest forms of communication with heaven is prayer using the heavenly or spirit language. The believer receives this language when they are baptized in the Holy Spirit. The initial outward evidence of this is the ability to pray in your new heavenly language. When we pray in our heavenly language, we are building up our spirit man while simultaneously speaking the mysteries of God. But what mysteries are we speaking? We are speaking mysteries that pertain to the specific will of God for our lives. Yet, because this spirit language is spoken from our spirit and not from our soul or our mind, our mind is unfruitful. This is why so many people stumble over the concept of praying in the spirit because their mind gets in the way. But praying in the Spirit sensitizes us to the spiritual dimension and opens up the mysteries of heaven pertaining to our lives. Key number five, the spirit of wisdom and revelation, the communication receiving system of the believer. The next component of communication and a major part of the transformation process is the spirit of wisdom and revelation. There can be no transformation without connection to and communication with heaven. It is critical that we be able to send and receive messages from heaven. If you belong to Jesus, he says that you hear and know his voice. Yet, we live in a time when most Christians struggle to hear God. This is because of the carnality of our flesh and the fact that we are not tuned in to the spiritual dimension. But in order to receive what heaven is broadcasting, you must have a spiritual receiver, that is, a born-again spirit that is tuned in to heaven's station. This is why Paul's prayer for the saints was always the same. He prayed, according to Ephesians 1, 15 through 18. For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints, 
I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints. The spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God is what every believer needs in order to become grounded in their faith, but also to be able to understand what God has for you and what he has called you to. It is by wisdom and revelation that these things are unveiled to the believer. Beloved, your advancement in the purpose of God for your life depends on your ability to access these things by the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Therefore, it is critical that you develop your spirit in its capacity to receive revelation from the spirit of God. Key number six, fasting and prayer, enforcing the death sentence on the flesh. The next key ingredient to the transformation process is fasting. Now, when I say this, most people immediately think about food or the lack thereof. But fasting is so much more than that. In fact, the realm of food is only one aspect of fasting. In actuality, God wants us to lead a fasted lifestyle. But why is fasting a key ingredient to the transformation process? Well, fasting is actually the opposite side of the coin of prayer. Whereas praying in the spirit builds up your spirit man, fasting tears down, destroys, and kills the flesh. So used in tandem, they produce an amazing effect in the life of the believer. While praying in the spirit edifies the spirit and makes it sharper and more discerning, fasting, on the other hand, afflicts the soulish realm and enforces the death sentence on the flesh. As we fast, we afflict the soul by denying it all the things that it craves, including television, social media, phone calls, sports, shopping, and anything else that it craves, in addition to food. As these desires are subdued through a fasted lifestyle, the accumulative effect of daily prayer and the denial of the flesh produces a spirit that is not only alive to God, but is also in sync with heaven. Therefore, fasting is a kind of spiritual accelerator that will propel you down the destiny path that God has already marked out for your life. Key number seven, assimilation. Community plus culture plus discipleship equals kingdom assimilation. The transformation process is also greatly enhanced by the assimilation process. If a new believer can be brought into a strong Christian community with a strong Christian culture and have access to small discipleship groups, it will inevitably produce transformation by assimilation. Many anthropologists assert that the fastest way to learn a foreign language and culture is not to go to school for it, but rather to be dropped in the middle of the foreign culture and language and be faced with the necessity of learning that culture and language in order to assimilate and in order to survive. When you are forced into a situation where learning a foreign language and culture is mandatory, you will quickly assimilate and adapt. Therefore, assimilation is most powerful when it employs the immersion of a new believer into the community and culture 
of discipleship, which is a powerful positive influence for change and which supports the transformation process. As the believer is accepted into the Christian community and begins to experience the culture of heaven in the group, they will inevitably be influenced by the believers in the community to assimilate to the group and therefore hasten their individual transformation process. As they learn from more mature believers in the community and are supported by the common language and culture, they are able to move more quickly towards the transformation process. So these seven keys are critical to the transformation process in your life. Do you want to be transformed into the image of Christ? Then begin to engage these seven keys and watch what Holy Spirit will be able to do in your life. Well, I hope this has blessed you. If it has, would you please click the like button below and give it a thumbs up. Also, please post your comments and questions in the comment section below. This will greatly, greatly help us to build our audience on this platform and to grow and spread the word of God. And if you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll be a part of all of our kingdom conversations. It would be my absolute honor to have you as a part of this channel. And finally, please refer someone to this channel by clicking the share button below. Thank you so much for partnering with us. Together, with God's grace, we will transform believers into kingdom citizens that think, talk, and act like Jesus so that we can properly represent heaven while living right here on earth. If you'd like to learn more about heaven culture or purchase any of our amazing products, please feel free to visit us online at heavenculture.co. That's heavenculture.co. Thanks so much for your time. I look forward to continuing this journey with you. Thank you.